Alright guys, so in the last uh, Slayer Exciter video I uh, was concentrating on uh, transmitting DTMF and uh, fixing an old junk radio, AM radio uh, and didn't really include anything with uh, receiving it and decoding it at the other end uh, so here's a uh, DTMF decoder circuit which comes straight out of the data sheet for the device which is a uh, Motorola MC154436 can I focus? Come on, yes, almost, no. It was probably better before. Um, got it connected through a switch, which is a push on, push off toggle switch, and a little 6 volt battery. And uh, this is just some dummy copper. Uh, and that'll just allows it to connect in series through a, um, a standard AA battery clip. Uh, these batteries, I don't expect them to be economical, it was just convenient at the time. Got that one wrong, it's actually 145436 at Motorola. So as we back up there, uh, the red LED is for power, the green LED is connected to the data valid uh, signal from the chip, and the four yellow LEDs are data 0 to 3, and uh, they're the hexadecimal output. Uh, for the 16 possible values uh, that you can receive. Uh, the green LED is important because one of those values is zero so there is a, a, a key, a DTMF key that will uh, output uh, the green LED on for data valid but no uh, yellow LEDs will be on so um, it looks like it does use all possible 4-bit uh, uh, outputs and a little daughterboard microphone preamp which I'm looking through at a magnifier at the moment but you should be able to see uh, LM I think 358 is the chip there and this wasn't made for this project uh, it's just a thing I use but it can plug in uh, straight into the DTMF decoder through a 3 pin header and um, I hope to have eliminated any need for this by the end of the project I want to use a bare bones uh, radio to plug straight into the audio input so the DTMF is actually over the air uh, without any uh, need or without being subject to interference from audio like would happen if I was talking now over the DTMF. I've got a uh, 2N3904 transistor there that I'm not using yet, uh, just might come in handy later. Here it is uh, running through audio coupling on a radio, so the microphone's near a speaker and uh, the radio is just playing audio as normal. And of course uh, when I speak it, it can tend to stuff it up, so if I stay silent. I can mess that up. But it Touching a coil. Hmm. That's almost like a <laughs> blue something in the radio. Wow, that that uh, was actually the end for uh, some part in this radio. So um, oh, I'm not going to bother again. If you saw the last one, the effort that this thing took. Um, yeah, so I'll turn the volume up. You can actually get nothing through the bands now. <laughs> so that's a waste of time. I'll use this coil there. No trouble uh, with the ASU, of course. Sounds a lot better. The ideal goal is just to plug in a bare bones AM radio and that's so something like that Beasley ferrite there. So this is just a tuned LC circuit. It may not actually be able to be resonant with the uh, 1.7 odd megahertz. Uh, I haven't actually tried that yet. It's just a random winding uh, and that's another 2N3904. Uh, just to use as an amplifier if I This one it. definitely has died. Um, no audio would also, I might have lost the uh, amplifier there. Uh, it would have been nice to uh, test the range of the transmitter. 
um, but this has been more trouble than it's worth. Hey, it started working <laughs> while well, I snapped it. No, no, I'm not going down that road again. I'm just going to spend the 25 odd bucks and get another one. Thinking again, I could have um, overloaded the front end and just damaged that device by flooding it, perhaps. Had a nice box to put it in and everything. I'll just build my own AM radio. Just reviewing that um, video segment there. I think the amplifier made a noise because I touched it. It doesn't say the radio actually started working. I don't think it really did. Um, yeah. No thanks. I'm only going to save this and uh, at least I know with a, a normal tuning gang I can make a resonant LC circuit out of it. Um, might be able to use that for the DTMF receiver.